NASA is gearing up for its next big leap. Through the Artemis mission, NASA aims to land humans on the moon by 2024. This includes the first woman and person of color to set foot on the moon. The learnings from the Artemis program will be utilized to send the first astronauts to Mars. In 1969, through the Apollo mission, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin became the first people to land on the moon. Ever since, due to multiple reasons, lunar exploration missions have always been unmanned. Until now. The Artemis program is divided into three missions. Artemis 1, 2, 3 and beyond. Artemis 1 is the first flight of the Moon mission. It will be launched in June 2022 from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, United States. It is an uncrewed spacecraft which will be launched on the Space Launch System, which is the most powerful rocket in the world. It will travel 2,80,000 miles from Earth for over 4 to 6 weeks during the course of the mission. Artemis 1 also includes the Orion capsule, which will remain in space without docking into a space station. This is longer than any ship for astronauts has ever done before. The aim of this mission is to collect data and to allow mission controllers to assess the performance of the spacecraft. It will communicate with the control center back on Earth through the Deep Space Network. Other space agencies like the Canadian Space Agency, European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency are also involved in the Artemis program. The second flight under the program will have a crew on board and will test Orion's critical systems with the humans on board. Between April 1st and April 3rd, a major test known as the wet dress rehearsal was conducted. All the steps up to the launch, including the countdown, were executed but was stopped right before the takeoff. NASA's Artemis mission is touted as the next generation of lunar exploration. <laughs>